Hey guys, Richard Holder here. Welcome to the channel. Here's the question. Which one makes more power, a 6 liter Ford or a 6 liter LS? Wait, Richard, did you see a 6 liter Ford? In this video, we have a 6 liter shootout. That's right, Ford versus Chevy. Wait a minute, a 6 liter Ford? That's right, it is a 363 cubic inch Dart SHP short block suitably modified with heads, cam, and intake to maximize power output. On the LS side, very easy. We have a 6 liter LY6 short block, again, suitably modified heads, cam, and intake to make more power. Then we're going to compare those two to see who makes more power, but you know how I do it. Along the way, we're going to take a look at a couple of other tests. Big heads and small heads on the forward, big heads and small heads on the LS, plus an extra intake shootout. That's a lot of stuff. Let's get going. Okay, guys, let's get things started in our comparison between a 6-liter Ford and a 6-liter LS. And as you might know and have suspected already, the 6-liter LS actually is a factory displacement, but a 6-liter uh, Ford is not a factory displacement. I was able to achieve that using an aftermarket block and a stroke or crank assembly. We could have used a 351 and maybe bored it out a bit more, but instead I chose to compare this motor because I hadn't ever run any 351 or, or something slightly bigger than a 351 with lots of good cylinder heads and camshafts and stuff. And we did on this, and the combination produced exactly 363 cubic inches, so within one cubic inch, or maybe even less than that, if I did the actual math, compared to the 364 displacement that we used on the 6 liter. So this combination was used, and it was a Dart SHP short block. It was a 4125 bore to which we added, which they added, a 3.4 inch stroke. So that's the stroke that we normally use with a 347, but the big 4125 bore up the displacement, 363 inches. This combination had a set of flat top pistons with valve reliefs, with at, which actually allowed us to use a big camshaft, and that's exactly what we did. We installed a solid roller camshaft in this. It was from Cam Research. It was 725 lift. 254, 260 degree duration at 50, and I think that this was a 109 degree load separation angle. We ran it at about 20,000 slash. We equipped this thing to start off with, because we tested a number of cylinder heads on this, with a set of 170cc ASCAST Dart heads, Dart Pro 1s, and a funnel web intake, and a 950 Holly, a set of inch and three quarter chassis headers, and with 18 inch collector extensions like we normally do. We had an MSD distributor on here, and then we would run, um, we're gonna compare two sets of cylinder heads on the Ford, and then two sets of cylinder heads on the LS, and then we'll compare the Ford and the, Ford and the um, LS together at the end. So run with a set of 170cc ASCAST heads, our 363 produced 510 horsepower, and 472 foot-pounds of torque. And here's what happened after we installed a set of CNC ported heads. These were Dart Pro 1 210s. We also tried a set of 225s and they made very similar power to the 210s. And one of the interesting things is that the, a lot of guys think, oh, the smaller head's gonna have a lot more velocity and it's gonna make a lot more low speed torque, and, and it doesn't. <laughs> um, in fact, the bigger head made more peak torque. It made um, 484 foot pounds along with 566 horsepower, the big gains on the top we expected. And we only saw a slight dip in torque with the bigger head between 4,100 and 47 or 4,800, but everywhere else it was as good or even better than the smaller head down low. So except for that dip, uh, which we also saw in the 225 head, uh, the bigger head was just kind of better everywhere than the 170 head. So. Our combination, our 363 produced 566 horsepower with good heads, obviously a fairly good sized camshaft um, and a good intake manifold that had long tube headers on it and we had a good oiling system on it. And so this was a pretty good example of what we could expect from a modified 366 inch Ford motor. Now let's check out the same size LS. Now that we've taken a look at our 363 cubic inch Dart SHP 363 motor, we can take a look at its 6 liter counterpart on the LS side. In this one, we didn't have to build a dedicated 6 liter short block because we already had one in existence. It was a 6 liter LY6, which was originally a VVT motor, so we had the stock bottom end. This motor would eventually go on to become the Big Bang 6 liter, the Gen 4 motor, that we made 1,543 horsepower with, with two big turbos, but before that, we did lots 
lots of other testing with it. So it already started out as a six liter. And then what we did was add, like with the Ford, we added the right heads, cam, and intake manifold to try to improve the power. And just like we did with the Ford, I'm going to show you what happened when we did a couple of different cylinder heads and a couple of upgrades. And then we can compare the Ford and the Chevy to see how they, how the two six liters compare. So this was our LY6. And what we did was we put a good size camshaft in it, first of all. This one was a Comp 459 camshaft, which was a 617, 624 lift split, a 231, 239 degree duration split, and 114 degree lobe separation angle. This combination was also equipped. We took off the Recport LY6 heads and installed a set of just basically bone stock 706 heads. They did have valve spring in them to work with this camshaft, obviously, but 5.3 truck, truck, uh, cylinder heads basically. We also equipped this thing with because we, were, we had changed from the type of head that we were using we needed an appropriate manifold so we ran a Dorman um, LS6 intake manifold and a 92 millimeter throttle body. I take that back a Dorman LS2 intake manifold and a 92 millimeter throttle body. The combination also had inch and 7 eighths long tube headers with collector extensions we ran all of this with a Holly HP management system. So the Ford was run carbureted and this one was run fuel injected. So you guys go ahead and make the comments already because we, we know that there's going to be a lot of carburetor versus EFI comments and why couldn't you run the same intake manifold. So please may, make sure to make the comments now. But run with the 706 heads, the smaller 706 heads on our, on our cammed 6 liter with a decent intake manifold on it. The combination produced 513 horsepower. And peak torque checked in at 483 horsepower. Those numbers should sound kind of familiar with the small head uh, forward version. But here's what happened when we did a cylinder head upgrade. We installed a set of TrickFlow 225 heads, which obviously flow a great deal more than a stock 706 head does. And they, they indeed improved the power pretty dramatically. Peak power jumped up to 560 horsepower. And peak torque was up to... 501 foot pounds. We could see down low the, the bigger head actually lost power compared to the 706 head from about 37 or 3800 RPM on down. And some of this is probably due to the change in static compression between the heads. Uh, the 706 head had a 60 or 61 cc chamber and the, the chambers on the 225 heads, I'm going to have to look up um, to see if I have the data on the chamber size. I didn't mark that down when, when I was doing the testing. So I have to go back and look that up and I'll try to put this up in the video when we're doing the editing. But we didn't finish here. What I did was we had run the 225 heads with the Dorman LS2 intake manifold, which is fairly good. It's about the equivalent of a Trailblazer SS, but this particular combination would respond to having even more intake manifold, and that's exactly what we did. So we put a fast intake manifold on it, and that brought the peak power up. Peak power was up to 576 horsepower, and it even brought peak torque up to 508 foot-pounds of torque. So, you know, good gains basically through most of the curve. The fast was better than the Dorman manifold from about 43 or 4,400 on up um, and was down maybe a little bit compared to the, to the Dorman manifold below 3,500 RPM, but not a whole bunch. But as you can see, this six liter LS with a stock bottom end basically did very well in terms of power reduction, but with the right cylinder heads, camshaft, and intake. So now let's like a look at a comparison between the two six liters, the Ford and the Chevy. Now it's time to compare our two six liters, the Ford and the Chevy, starting off with the Ford. And this was the Ford run with the small 170C ASCAST Dart Pro 1 heads. And I want to show this in comparison to running the six liter LS with the 706 heads. And you can see they're comparable in terms of peak power, certainly out here. The LS combination seemed to make more power through most of the curve. And honestly, I would attribute that mostly to the fact that we had a much better, longer runner manifold that's gonna make more average power production. The funnel web is a decent carbureted intake manifold, but had we run the, the LS with a 
Super Victor or, or, or there was a fast version of that style manifold for the Ford, this would be maybe a little closer comparison. But obviously, if we ran the LS with a carbureted manifold, the power would be down quite a bit from where it is with the, the dormant LS2 intake manifold. So these would be very, very comparable. So I, it, this tells me that you can make similar power with this kind of displacement with both engine families. Obviously, it took more effort doing it with the Ford than it did with the LS. So now let's take a look and see what happened when we ran the, the higher horsepower versions. So this was our Ford with the 210 heads, making 566 horsepower. And here's what happened when we ran the trick flow heads on our uh, six liter LS. It, again, more average power, partly because I'm sure because of the manifold. Now this was, uh, again, the long runner LS6 style man or the LS2 Dorman manifold compared to a single plane. But obviously both of them have the capability of making um, power out of the top. We had uh, 560 versus 566, so we're kind of splitting hairs up there. But again, I think that the difference we're seeing in the middle part is probably all due to intake manifolding. But uh, we didn't stop there, obviously, on the LS. And then when we went to the fast manifold, things got, obviously, even better. We, made, we ended up making more peak power. We were up at 576, so six better in terms of peak compared to the Ford. And a good bit of torque better, you know, especially if we compare here at, like, 4,600, we're looking at 450 foot-pounds versus 500 foot-pounds. So that's a big difference right in there. But again, I think most of that is due to the intake manifolding. Um, but this tells me that uh, I actually had never looked at this comparison before today. And it tells me that we can make pretty good power with similar displacement combinations, but the LS obviously is looking pretty good. Let's get to our conclusion. Okay guys, what's the takeaway in this comparison between our 6 liter 363 cubic inch Ford and the 6 liter 364 inch LS? Well, here's the comment I'm sure I'm going to get and please make sure make that comment. Yeah, Richard, you can make this similar kind of power with this kind of displacement with both combinations. If you spend a million dollars on the Ford with the LS, all you have to do is go to the wrecking yard and obviously there's a point to be made there and please make sure make that comment. But here's the thing. A Ford guy is probably going to go the Ford route anyway. And really what I wanted to show with this video is that it's possible to make good power with this kind of displacement from really almost any engine family. Now, sure, on the Ford or a small block Chevy or a small block Dodge or whatever, you'd have to spend a pretty good bit of money compared to just going to the wrecking yard, finding a six liter, although they're not as cheap anymore and they're harder to find because I've never found one, but you can get them. They're inexpensive. They're a lot less money than a dark SHP short block. So if money is the only object, I probably would steer most people toward the LS. I'm Richard Holder. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell. Do all that stuff because I'll keep testing.